Hey friends, it's Mrs. McBride. Um, I want to talk to you about how we're going to finish up the Newtonian rollerblading lab. So the way we're going to work is I'm going to pretend like um, I am there and after I ask a question I want you to stop the video and answer the question and then we'll kind of talk about it. Sound like a plan? Yeah, great. Okay, so you've already calculated the acceleration rate for each skater for the applied force okay, that you did in the data table. And as of yesterday, we had already plotted the uh, force versus acceleration on the same graph, okay? Next thing I want you to do is find the slope of both lines, okay? Now, what does the slope represent, okay? So take a second and think about it. All right, we know what the slope represents because we know we have the, the equation F equals MA. We graphed force versus acceleration, so what does the slope represent? Well, the slope represents mass. So again, the whole point of this experiment is that we were going to find the mass. Okay, so the slope represents the mass. Next, ask yourself which skater had the greater acceleration and why. Pause this video for a second and talk about it. So the skater that had the greatest acceleration should have been the skater with the largest, uh, or excuse me, the smallest mass. Because we talked about this the other day, that when your mass is smaller, your acceleration is larger. So you should have hopefully seen that Adam was the one that had the greatest acceleration. Okay, last question is why doesn't the graph begin at the origin and what does the y-intercept represent? Stop the video and ask yourself, what do you think? Why doesn't the graph begin at the origin? Okay, so the graph, if we think about our graph, on the y-axis is force, so the y-intercept must represent some sort of force, right? In this case, I hope you said that the force was friction, okay? So the graph does not begin quite at the origin because you have to overcome friction in order to get moving, okay? Um, and again, the y-intercept, this represents the force of friction. Hope that makes sense. If not, let's talk about it on Monday. All right, now in terms of what we're gonna do down here, I want you to make a data table, okay? And in this data table, we're going to have their actual values, their experimental value, and their percent error, okay? And you're gonna make two different ones. This one will be for Dylan, and this one will be for Adam. Now, the experimental value, this is what you're going to get from your slope, right? So we're going to find the slope of each skater. The actual value, I've forgotten because I didn't write this down. Okay, your actual value should be these two values together. Um, this, this is this. I think Dylan's was 85, so this would be like your 85 plus 12, or his actual value should be like 97 okay and then you're going to find the percent error for each one of those guys does that make sense wonderful okay once you're done with that we're going to write a conclusion again what I'd like to do is I'd like to use this um, paper and what we're going to do again is as we're going along please stop the video and write the conclusion so the first part of the conclusion is the claim okay so what i want you to do is identify the purpose of the lab and how it was met so in this case the purpose of the lab was to calculate the masses of the two skaters so you're going to write something like the purpose of this lab was to find the masses of two skaters In the evidence part, we're going to write two sentences. We're going to write, in this lab, we, okay, and then I want you to tell me what you did, okay? What specifically did you measure? Okay, you did not measure the acceleration. We measured the time and calculated the acceleration and force. And, and I also want you to give me a little bit like, if somebody wasn't here yesterday, what would they have thought? You know, so something like, we hooked a skater up to a rope that was connected to a bucket, blah, 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 okay? The next sentence you need to write is, we made a graph of force versus acceleration. It was fit with a straight line, okay? 
Now the slope of the graph, this yielded results of, and these should be our masses of the two skaters. And again, these are the skaters' slopes, right? Okay. The actual value of each skater and the percent error, and that should be from your table on the previous page. Okay, and the last sentence that I want you to write is two sources of error in this lab are, you don't need to write anything else. I would say one main source of error is friction, okay, but it's up to you in terms of what you write, okay? Good luck with this conclusion. Ask your friends if you need help. Um, please turn this lab in, and once you're done with this, then you guys are going to start the next lab. It is lab heaven. Um, again, if you have any questions, uh, I will see you on Monday. Thanks, guys.